Hi class! Welcome to our math lesson. Today we are going to be looking at the last eight math facts that we need to learn. You have done so well memorizing your math facts this year and we only have eight more addition questions to go. Good job. I'm going to show you what they are. The first one is 5 plus 3, which is 8. 6 plus 3, which is 9. 7 plus 4, 11. 7 plus 5, which is 12. 8 plus 3 equals 11. 8 plus 4 equals 12. 8 plus 5 equals 13. And our last one, 8 plus 6, is 14. Hmm. These facts are kind of our oddball facts, or our silly facts. They don't follow a lot of the rules that our last ones did. They aren't plus twos or plus ones. They are a little bit different. They have a different pattern to them. So today, we're going to talk about memorizing and understanding our math facts. When we memorize them, we learn them really, really fast so that we can answer the questions quickly. Just like this, if you saw 8 plus 6, you would think, oh, 14. I know that one. I've memorized it. And that's one way to do it, is to memorize it so you can do it quickly. And another way is to understand what it means. When we understand what 8 plus 6 means, we can figure out any of our addition facts, even if we don't have it memorized. We can still work it out. I want to go over some ways that you can work out some questions today. The first way is to use some cubes to help you. Let's see. Our first question here says 8 plus 5. I have a train of 8 linking cubes. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I added 5 linking cubes so that I have 8 plus 5, just like my question, I have 8 plus 5. I can figure it out just by counting. But I'm going to count on. I don't need to count these 8. I know that there's 8 here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8 plus 5 is... It's 13. Good job. Whenever you have a question, and you're not quite sure what the answer is, you could use linking cubes. Let's try another one with cubes so that we can see if we can figure it out. This one says 6 plus 3. So I'm going to get a train of 6 blue cubes. And how many more cubes do I need to add to it? You're right. It's 3. I'm going to put 3 cubes on to my train of six. I could just count them, starting at the top, going one, two, three, four, five, six, and then add the next three, six, seven, eight, nine. But do you know what? I don't have to count these six. I know there's six here. I can just add on six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three is nine. Let's look at 5 plus 3. To make this 5 plus 3, I have to take one off the top. Let's make sure I have 5 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 3. If 6 plus 3 was 9, what do you think 5 plus 3 will be? Let's see if you're right. 5, 6, 7, 8. Did you guess 8? Good job. 5 plus 3 is 8. One way to understand your math facts 
is that you can use toys or blocks or Lego to work out the problem. You can actually have five blocks and three blocks and put them together. I bet you that will help you understand it. I want to show you another way that sometimes helps me. These are three of the math facts that we're working on. And sometimes I find it helpful to put the answer onto little cards and then see if I can match them. Let's see, I have eight as the answer to one of them. Could it be the answer to eight plus three? No, that doesn't even make any sense because there's already an eight in the question. Six plus three, let's try that. Six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, it's not the answer there. Would it fit here? If we had five and then added three more, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> that is the answer. Here's another one. The answer is nine. Hmm, is that going to go with six plus three or eight plus three? Well, we know that eight plus one is nine, so it's not gonna go there. Six plus three is nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's our answer. And we only have one more answer. I'm gonna put it here because I know it has to go there. That's the only one left. But let's see if it makes sense. Eight, nine, 10, 11. It is. This is a way that you could try your math facts. Let's take a look at these ones. I have five plus three, three plus five, six plus three, and three plus six. Hmm. Do you notice something? What do you notice about these two facts? And do you notice something about these two facts as well? They're switcheroo facts. There's a five on the top here and a five on the bottom. A three on the bottom and a three on the top. They're switcheroo. Let's see if the answer would be the same. Five, six, seven, eight. The answer to this question is eight. Five, six, seven, eight. The answer to both of them is eight. Our switcheroo facts have the same answer. Let's look over here. We have six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. Our answer is nine. Do you wanna guess what the answer will be for three plus six? Let's try it. Six, seven, eight, nine. The answer is also nine. Our switcheroo facts have the same answer. Let's take a look at another way to think about it. Class, let's take a minute to look at this apple. It can help us learn this math fact. Five plus three. If we're not sure what five plus three is, we can use objects to help us count it out. We know that there's five on one side. So let's add on. We'll start with five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three is eight. One of the next facts that is one of our last facts is six plus three. If five plus three was eight, what would six plus three be? Well, let's add on. We have six and we're gonna add three to it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three is nine. One of the next facts that we're gonna look at is eight plus three. I'm gonna make it two little groups of four so we can look at it and remember that that's eight. Eight plus three. Hmm, let's add on. Eight, nine, 10, 11. 
8 plus 3 is 11. One of the next facts that we have is 7 plus 4. Hmm, that's related to 8 plus 3. Let's see how. If we have 8 plus 3 over here, and if that equals 11, what's going to happen if we move one of these over to make 7 plus 4? Is our answer going to change at all? Let's see. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The next fact that we're going to look at is 7 plus 5. Let's add on as we count. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. Oh, I know something else that is 12. If we take one of these seeds and put it over here so that we have 8 plus 4, that's also going to be 12. The number of seeds didn't change. We just put them on different sides. We have 8, and then let's add on to it. 9, 10, 11, 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. Hmm. If we add one more seed to this side, it's going to be 8 plus 5. If 8 plus 4 was 12, what do you think 8 plus 5 will be? That's right, it's 13. What if we keep the 8 side the same and we add another one over here so that it's 8 plus 6? 8 plus 6. Hmm, if 8 plus 5 was 13, what would 8 plus 6 be? Let's count it out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 8 plus 6 is 14. How did you do? Do you think you figured out how it works? Let's try some of our math facts before we go. 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 7 plus 4 is 11. 8 plus 5 is 13. 7 plus 5 is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. And 8 plus 6 is 14. I hope that you get a chance to practice those. Memorizing them will help you do them very quickly. And understanding how to do them will help you figure out all the ones that you can't remember. Have fun practicing. Bye-bye.